What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! news video I am actually going to be revealing, I'm going to be giving the entire, I'm, I'm going to reveal the entire set list for none other than, than the Selection uh, 10 uh, set. This will be released sometime next year in 2021 um, and I have spoken a lot about this about this set, all the cards that are going to be in 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 the set over 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 the last over the last few months actually, which you guys can definitely you guys can definitely check out those videos if you haven't already. And yeah, so let's get to it. And this set is actually the shortest I've ever seen ever. This is the shortest set ever. There are only fifty cards in the set, with several archetypes. One of them being Lava being Lavols. We have we have heretics, we have Shadals, Necros, Fairy Tail, Galaxy Eyes, Time Thief, Sun Avalon, and then also and, all, and then also another new one called Holy Knight, which is an interesting archetype. I've spoken about it um, not not like in depth, but oh excuse me, but I have but I have spoken about it. Uh, before so let's get so let's dive straight into it if you guys do not want the spoilers then shut the video off now but if you guys want to know what's in the set here we go spoilers in three two one so the cards that are in the set going in numerical order and I'm and I'm also gonna be explaining I'm uh, in this video I'm also gonna talk about what are what are the hollows what are the commons that are in the set as well so so yeah so yeah, so with that being said, going in, in numerical order, we have Dracula Vam Draculia, Draculia, Draculi Vampire, I believe is the name. Vampire Frawling, yeah, so vampires are getting support in here as well. Laval Arch Archer, Lavaval Salamander, Laval Vol Volcano Hand Maiden, Lavaval Dragon, Molten Conduction Feel. Heretic Heavenly Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis, which I I read the effect. It's actually not too bad. If you guys, I wanted to, I, I tried to look it up before, but I wasn't, but I wasn't able to because of the fact that my, uh, my, my laptop was acting weird. So I can now finally go on to the, to the website and explain how good this card really is because this card is just absolutely stupid. It's actually a generic. I'll, you guys might not know it, but it's a generic card. Um, it's actually a really good generic card. Let me hang. What was the name of it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. Heretic Dragon. Oh, Heavenly Dragon. Um. Hang on, guys. How do I spell heretic? H oh oh it's H I E R H I E R. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm trying to real like really quickly write the type type this in so I can. Here we are. Let me see if I got this right. Did I get it right? Sun Dragon Overlord. I believe this is. I, I believe this was the card I was talking about. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Finally. Finally, I found it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is. So what? So what you guys don't know is that this is a really good. It's an excellent generic card. It was actually seen in. It was actually a, a secret rare promo from from the two thousand nine. Tins. I, I believe the the 2019s. It's a rank eight 
Dragon exceeds light attribute with 3,000 attack, 2,400 defense, and, and requires two level 8 monsters, which is, again, it's generic. Excuse me. Once per turn, you can detach one exterior material from this card, should be any number of monsters from your hand and or side of the field. Minimum one, then destroy an equal number of cards on the field. You're literally breaking boards with this card. That's how broken it is. That's how broken that card really, really is. Wait, Heretic Heavenly Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis, and then Heretic Seal of Creation, and then Her Heretic Sun Dragon. Okay, so, so that was the one I, that I was trying to find, was the Heretic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis. But continuing on from the Heavenly Dragon, we have Heretic Seal of Creation, and then of course the Sun Dragon. We have the we have obviously the the Heretic Link, the Link Two, um, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, Nep should all gen genius, Hell should all void. I, I believe is uh, in. I don't. I think. Uh, I think that's yeah. Hell should all void. Necros of a red beer. A red hair, I don't know how to pronounce that. Necros of Bryonic, Trishula, uh, ne uh, ne and Necros Kaleidoscope. We have fa uh, Fairy Tale Ro Roka, Fairy Tale, Galaxy Eye Cipher X Dragon, which I actually want to look up, look up that card. Let's see. Let's take a look. Come on, give me, thank you. Cypher X Dragon finally found you. And if I remember correctly, I think I spoke about this card. Yes, I think I did. I think I did. I think I did talk about it. So it's a light attribute, ten, rank 10, uh, Dragon Exceeds with 4,000 attack, 3,000 defense, and requires two level 10 monsters. So again, again, it's generic, but you can also use, you can also uh, use, um, Use a Cypher Dragon monster you control, which could actually be Cypher Blade Dragon or even Cypher Dragon on its own, um, as its material. You can detach two materials from this card. Your opponent cannot target light monsters, light monsters you control with card effects until the end of their turn. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can return a rank 9 or lower Dragon Exceeds from your grave to the extra deck, and a special summon that monster from your extra deck by using this card you control as material. And, it, and it's treated as an XC summon. Again, you're not only are you recycling, you know, your your dragon XC monsters from from your graveyard, but you're you know to your extra deck, but you're summoning them back to the field using this card and its and, and its materials, if you will, as its overlay units, which is super fucking busted. Literally, if we get that card in in English. I am using that in my Galaxy Eyes deck because that card is just stupid. That card is just stupid. And speaking of Cypher Dragon, we have we have Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon and then of course Cypher Blade Dragon. Uh, and then we have Time Thief Adjuster, Double Barrel, Redoer, Perpetua, and then also Perpetua, Sun Avalon Genius, Loki, 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 Sun Avalon Maiden, Shadow, Twin, Dryass. Dry Aids, Dry Dry Gnome, Dry Trent Trent T. I just butchered that name. Gardner Healer, and then oh, oh, and then Sun Vine, and then Sun Vine Gardner Healer Thrasher Shrine, and then Sun Avalon Bl Bloom. Uh, we have also Unexpected Die, Radiant Sayaru, Hol Holy Night Rail, Astel Flamel. Bellfire, Sky, N Nativity, Advent, Blast, and Arc Brave Dragon. For and then so th that's the card list. So in this set, you're gonna get commons, you're gonna get commons, rares, supers, and ultras. Those are the only rarities you're gonna get. For the ultras, we have Dracula Vampire, Necros of Ariad Hair, Cypher X Dragon, Sun Avalon. Dryad Trentier, and then Radiant Sayaru. For the super rares, we have Lavalvo Salamander, Heretic Heavenly Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis, Fairy uh, uh, Nefshadal Genius, Fairy Tale Roca, 
Time Thief Double Barrel, Sunvine Thrasher, Holy Knight Rail, and Bellfire. For the rares, we have Lawful Archer, Heretic Seal of Creation, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, Hell Should All Void, Fairy Tale, Time Thief Adjuster, and Redoer, Sun Avalon Maiden, Dryas, and Dryanome, and then Holy Knight Astal and Flamel. And then and then the rest of the cards are common. So Vamp so Vampy Frawling. So Vampire Frawling. Lava Volcano. Yes, yes. And then you know and Arc Brave Dragon is also the common, which honestly is kind of kind of a eh, honestly, because that card, I, I think that card should be a um should be a super rare in my honest opinion. In, in, in my opinion, that should have been a should have been at least a rare. At least a rare. But I actually want to look up the the over dragon so heavenly dragon overlord of Heliopolis let's see I don't think it's on here. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's not. So it might so it might they may not have released what the card looks like. So if I had all right, all right, never mind. So honestly, on honestly there really isn't much to talk about, but I will but I will say this though. This set is actually not too shabby. Not too shabby. We're getting we're getting news we're getting um what? How 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 many archetypes are we getting? We're getting one, two, we're getting two new archetypes, which are, which is the Sun Avalon and, and then the, and then the Holy Knight archetype. We're getting support for Lawfuls. We're getting, we're getting reprints for Vampires. Get, I, I think the reprints for Shadals, for Necros, Fairy Tail, Galaxy Eyes, and, and, and even Time Thief as well. And then again, one of the big reprints that's in the set is Unexpected Die, which if I remember correctly... If I remember correctly, doesn't is isn't that a Moss Reborn? Isn't that a, isn't that a Moss Reborn? If you control no monsters, special summon a one level four or lower normal monster from normal monster from the deck. Okay, so yeah, so it's it, it's not a Moss Reborn, but it's more so of like a um more so more so like a uh, I guess I I, I guess kind of like a cyber rev system so so to speak but it's for normal monsters so it could be so you're bit so it's perfect for like it's perfect for like for like melfies or what or whatnot or, or pretty much any deck that uses normal normal monsters which there aren't a whole lot i think the only other one that uses normal monsters other than melfies i think would be the ojama archetype i think that's the only one but uh yeah so um an so another thing as well that i want to mention is actually a little is a little rumor that I've been hearing. So I want to show off something that was that I got from one from my past opening. If you guys remember my Dragons of Legend, the complete series um, opening, you will know that I that I got my hands on. I got I got my I was able to pull. Hang on, there we go. Not only did I pull the Eye of Tamias die. But I also pulled the Claw of Hermos die, and last but not least, the Fang Acritius die. Actually, truth be told, with Hermos, I was able to pull two. I've heard rumors with Legendary Duelist Season 2, there's, there's a rumor going around saying that the dice, I believe, are going to be, um, are, are going to be the main monsters for, for the protagonist, for the character's in the anime, so I think so. When you think of so since so, so since we're getting season two, I believe we're getting uh, cards from White Dragon Abyss. So White Dragon Abyss, I think would be like would be would be Crow, Zane, and I think Kaiba. So Kaiba, Zane, Crow, um. 
And then also support from, uh, for, what's that guy's name? I cannot, uh, uh, um, that, 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 uh, that rich kid from, uh, from, from Arc 5, I cannot remember his name, the guy, the, the guy that ended up using Abyss Tactics at the, at, at the end of, like, all the decks that he was using, I cannot remember his name, um, Silvio, Silvio, Silvio was the guy's name, it, it clicked, and then there was supposed to have been another, or an, an, another thing for someone else's deck, I, I think a deck from Zexel, Galaxy Eyes, Galaxy Eyes as well, I, I, I'm, why do I keep, keep forgetting about that, but yeah, so, so that, and then for, for Sisters of the Rose, I believe it's my, I think Alexis Rose, um, Akiza, I want to say, yeah, I think Annika Boom, which is from Zexel, and then, uh, Luna, I, I think, I think Luna Light, Luna Lights as well, so we, so we could be, be see, seeing something like that, or, or what they could do is give us, like, dice based on the characters themselves, so like, Kai, you know, a Kaiba die, or, you know, a Zane die, or something like that, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that, but I am going to be getting several, I'm, I'm, I will be getting several, several, uh, mini boxes, so I can do an opening, and basically, I guess, show off, um, you know, I, I guess show off how, how many dice are going to be in, in the set. The promos, obviously we know, obviously we know the promos are going to be um, cards like cards like Galaxy Eyes, Af Afterglow Dragon, which is one that I am so interested in. And then also Deep of Blue Eyes. There's supposed to be some something else, but I don't remember. But I do know that, uh, that the other three promos, because that with... Dragon the Legend, the the complete series, because that we got what four, five, six, seven, four promos that were that were imported from the OCG, and then the remaining three were coming out of were coming out of of uh, Phantom Rage. I think that's what that's what they're gonna do. Do four OCG import uh, promos, and then three coming out that will be out of in out in. Um, I, I want to say Blazing Vortex. I I want to I want to say I think that's our next set. I think our next core set, I think is Blazing Vortex. So we'll be getting that sometime in February or something like that. But guys, that but don't but that th those are just rumors that I've heard anyway. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Question of the day: What are you guys' thoughts on the cards in 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 the Selection Ten uh, set? Comment below. And that is going to do it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new to the channel and you guys love seeing these types of news videos for Yu-Gi-Oh! and for WWE, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are down in the description. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.